Hi friends, Miss Megan here. I'm doing another book time video today. Today we're going to be reading Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. All right, let's get started. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair and when I got out of bed this morning I tripped on the skateboard and by mistake I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box, but in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too, and I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I am going to be carsick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I'm not very happy. See his face? He's grumpy. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than the picture in my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. So he drew an invisible castle, which means he didn't draw anything. He was being kind of silly. He was very grumpy. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was his only, his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone and lands in Australia. That wasn't very nice of his friends. Now he's not being very nice to them. Uh-oh. There were two cupcakes in Fi Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, no. Looks like he's still sitting with his friends, though. They're all enjoying their lunch. He got a cupcake. He got a jelly roll and he got the Hershey bar. He didn't get any dessert. That's what it was because after school my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. He's not very happy about having a dirty spot on his teeth. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for Mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy, and when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby, and... Oh, no. Not being very nice. His brothers are being mean to him. And while I was shoving Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody. No one even answered. He probably shouldn't have hit his brother back, though. Wait until his mom got back to handle it. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones. Be but they can't make me wear them. He didn't get the shoes he wanted. 
When we picked up my data at his office, he said I couldn't play with the copy machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as I could, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Only oh, bit of me a big mess by mistake. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. He's not having a very good day. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my rail railroad train pajamas. I do not like my railroad train pajamas. Oh, God. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and told, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. Sometimes we have really terrible days. Nothing seems to be going right and we're unhappy. Sometimes we hurt ourselves or people are mean to us. And sometimes we just don't have very good days. And that's okay. You just got to remember to take a deep breath in. Pray and ask God to help us have a good attitude about a bad day. And the next day will always be better. All right, friends. Thanks for reading the book with me today. Remember, God loves and is watching over you. Bye, friends.